I don't think it, it, it has much to do with the health debate. I think the, what what we see in the health debate is that uh, uh, in these town hall meetings um, have opened up the first opportunity that the radical right has had to uh, come back and mobilize against Barack Obama. So when you when you look at what people are saying, some of it has to do with health, but a lot of it has to do with the broad outlines of his uh, all of his public policy. So what we have to look at this really is uh, political opposition to Barack Obama. To that extent, some of it is racial. Some people are using racial slogans, and some are using the saying, in effect, uh, party uh, slogans. Uh, and the two are mixed. Uh, but yeah, I mean, some of it has to do with race. There's no question about that. But but I I put this in the general category of um, of their opposition to the fact that he's in the White House. Period. They lost the election. I mean, and this is the first chance they've had really, uh, and been egged on by their leadership uh, to oppose everything that he's done. Despite whether it's in their interest or not. That's right. I mean, I, the thing that the Republicans have had um, a tradition of doing is mobilizing poor people against their own interests. And uh, that's one of the amazing things to me that they've been able to do it, except that um, what it appears that they're, they're able to sell them is a subtle version of white supremacy, uh, which allows them to privilege that over any policy gains they might make. At least I'm not black. Right. I wrote about that this week. I mean, you hear uh, this woman's shrill voice uh, in the debate, one of the town hall meetings, talking about, I want my country back. Well, what the hell is she talking about? I mean, it has been taken over by a foreign uh, alien um, power. Yeah, to her it has. And the alien power is, is, has a black face. And that's what a lot of these people are responding to.